We were working with another vendor and our sales manager came up to me and wanted to try a Spock drive. And I was pretty negative about it. I was like surprised he even wanted to because we just had a horrible experience. Finally, he talked me into meeting with them, and so we decided to install one uh, at our location out back here. I'm a dynamometer guy, and I'm looking at the loads. That's all I care about. I'm looking at my dynamometer loads. And the loads were down, we we're making production, we're still running this thing at 5.1 strokes a minute, and so I'm pretty happy. With our previous drive, uh, when the well would go down, uh, we had a hard time starting it because it was an air balance and we couldn't get it right. Uh, we noticed with the Spock drive we could adjust that. We used to change the belts and shivs every year on this well. And since we've had the Spock drive that we're going on almost two years now, we've never had to change the belts or shiv because of that soft start. We installed an ESP about 15 months ago up, up here on the hill. And this well in the past has had problems with motors burning up. So when we put this thing on, we noticed that the electricity wasn't as strong as they told us it was. So we made some adjustments with the drive and, and the taps, and it's been on currently uh, almost 14 months now without a failure. When your peak polished rod load drops and your minimum increases, that's, that's less wear and tear. Uh, everybody knows that that's involved with dynamometers. And just by us having that feature on, on this thing that, that we can adjust, has been a big plus for us. We had a well uh, that uh, was making a lot of noise in a neighborhood. It's a new development. One of the neighbors was complaining about the noise of the well, so they were running it only during the day, which they lost half their production. So uh, they called me up and I was telling them about this Spock drive, and they were saying that no, drives always make more noise. Every drive we ever put on makes more noise. I said, well, let's try this. I'm convinced on it. I just ran a couple of them. So we put this drive on again and we noticed the amps drop considerably and uh, we were running over a hundred decimals before now we're down into the 70s and 60s. What we could do is we can uh, dial this thing in with our fingers and uh, the noise levels were down everything dropped and uh, you know it was another success story and it's still running 24 hours a day you know uh, to this day and the guy was seemed to be pretty happy with the new, new uh, noise levels. One of my favorite parts about the Iron Horse Wise Guy uh, features is the ease of use and we're looking at it on our cell phones now and we can adjust, speed this thing up and watch it you know, 24 hours a day and that's been a big plus for us. Dealing with the people at Spock has been fantastic. You don't feel like you're left alone with this new product. Uh, it's been like no other sport we've ever had with any other company. I'm excited about our team working with these guys. It's been a win-win for both of us.